Ну. All right, so we are in South Central Pennsylvania. Come up here every year. Um, got a lot of family in Pennsylvania. This is Tommy speaking. Um, and uh, come up here every year since I've been a little boy and come up to the woods of Pennsylvania and got together with family and friends and, and got out there and spent some days for the first few days of deer rifle season uh, going after uh, going after whitetail buck and uh, so grew up on these uh, ridge and valleys of Pennsylvania and uh, <laughs> it's beautiful country it's you know being from North Carolina it's just a really different landscape uh, well I live in North Carolina now I should say it's just a different landscape but um, a lot of long ridges and long valleys here in Pennsylvania or in North Carolina, it's not as linear. Uh, it's more um, little peak here, big peak there. Um, just a totally different landscape. So we all come together up here once a year um, in this beautiful location and just get a bunch of people together to get out here and enjoy the woods. And I just, I just love it. I love it up here. I love it. It's like absolutely absolutely gorgeous here it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i love it um i love where we're at in the mountains of north carolina um but in a lot of places there you can't really see very well um but here you just got these panoramic kind of views and it's it's absolutely amazing so there's a couple ways I could take you. We could go up along the main road and through the back roads and go up through the fields. 
Um, we'll probably come back that way. Um, but I'm kind of thinking we should go to the woods. Um, this is really the first video that we've done on this bike. This, this is the first video. We just built this um, Coyote four-wheel drive, independent, uh, trailing arm suspension, um, 20 inch wheels all the way around, um, four motors, about 6,000 watts of power, uh, three kilowatt hour battery, 3,000 watt hours, um, all electric, so the A series. Um, so we call this a Coyote 630A with independent trailing arm, 6,000 watts, uh, 3,000 watt hours, so 630A. Um, coyote here thing is just awesome I, I mean you don't uh, you don't hear me on camera a lot get super excited but I just have been dreaming of this bike for years and it's right here now it's in front of me and I'm I'm absolutely tickled with the performance of this thing I mean it is like nothing else there's nothing else like it um, to be under 200 pounds total uh, with the front end off it's less than five feet long um, less than 32 inches wide on the outside so you can fit through doorways um, you could fit it sideways in a utility trailer you can fit it in the back of most uh, like mid-sized SUVs minivans wagons even like smaller hatchbacks like Volkswagen Golf, um, Subaru Outback, even crammed one in the back of a little Nissan Versa hatch. So to have a four-wheel drive vehicle that's this compact that you don't have to trailer is amazing. And with a trailer like that, you could probably carry four of these um, with taking the boom off and putting the seat down like a 5 by 12 utility trailer. You could carry four of these bikes. So and uh, we really want to design something that packed just absolutely as much capability as possible in the smallest package and this is it um, so enough talking let's ride um, it's a quiet machine but it rips and the suspension is bomber and it's so fun <laughs> So I should point out that I have no mechanical brakes. There are no disc brakes on this thing right now. We are gonna build it, of course, with disc brakes, but we wanted to run it with and, and just rely purely on this electrical brake and really dial in the performance of these regen brakes. So that's a fun fact. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious in the way I ride because um, although the brakes, the electronic brakes are really strong, um, nothing still replaces having that disc there when you really want it. So, um, just something, just something to point out. About a 22 mile an hour top speed on this, and that's ripping it in the woods. The independent suspension is like so good. It is so good. I mean, you can't see it because it's covered with leaves, but this trail is just washed out from the rain. There's little rocks, we call them baby heads, everywhere. And uh, this thing just absolutely eats it up. We're doing 20 miles an hour right now on super choppy, rough stuff. You would not do this on this trail in a pickup. Um, it's just it would beat it would beat it up but this thing's so light so nimble such long travel suspension it just it just chews it up and doesn't think twice about it it's so much fun so kind of giving you a lay of the land here um out to the left here is where you would go if you want to go to the top of the mountain um, this there's a lower route that goes out to the left here at this fork uh, it goes a real rough and rocky and usually wet lower route to the top and then we've got kind of a medium difficulty ride up the ridge we call that Joe's Hill um, Joe's Hill is uh, always been a great challenge for our four-wheel drives 
at all times of year. It's really washed out, really chopped up. Um, it's tough riding. Uh, so we're gonna do that later. Um, we'll probably go up that lower route as well later. We call that Dark Hollow and the rocks up there are just rough. So it'll put the suspension through its paces. You get to see what it can do. And then we've even got a hill that we call Keller's Hill that has gotten so torn up that we don't, we don't take the trucks up there anymore. So we might even do that. So on the mountain, we've kind of got, uh, we've got, let's call it easy, but it's not easy. The least difficult trail is very rough. That's Dark Hollow. The medium difficulty trail going up right here, you can kind of see the road cut. It's Joe's Hill. And the really difficult trail, Keller's Hill, comes up the front side of the mountain. And so we'll get more into that riding later. Right now, um, I'm actually heading to meet some meet uh, some family and friends out where we shoot on the shooting range in the backstop. And uh, got the side-by-side -side and the pickup over there. So I'm taking the back way in. But I want to show you, so this is a trail we use a lot and a tree came down. So if you're in this situation with a pickup and this tree's down, you pretty much gotta have a chainsaw. Um, and uh, this thing, because of the narrow track width, you can fit through much smaller spaces. And so you can make trail in areas where you'd only really be able to walk. So check it out. So this this is the trail, and we're, so we're gonna divert. I mean, this thing is a freedom machine. <laughs> so running over a tree right there. <laughs> Sitting in a tight spot there. Just crushing logs. <laughs> but I mean, you see like with this, like if you don't have a trail, it's not really the end of the world, especially in a leaf off season like this. Um, So I'm actually just gonna go connect with a different trail. And bear in mind right now, what I'm riding right now is not a trail. <laughs> That's the beauty of this machine being so compact in the woods is you just work it out. And if you get stuck, you back up or you lift it up, it's, only, it's less than 200 pounds so you can get out and not have a 3,000 pound thing that you gotta figure out a way to move. Um, so it's liberating. And so right now, I don't know if you can read that display, but on the bottom left, it's negative because we're actually putting power back into these batteries right now as we descend this really rough, choppy trail and come into this beautiful field that we call the Blue Tarp Field. And so they're shooting now. Adjacent to me here off in a different direction, thankfully. <laughs> so there's 22 miles an hour through the field, just really smooth, 23. Uh, this machine tops out about, with the current setup, uh, the way it's geared, about 22 miles an hour. So we're cruising along 22 right there. And we'll cut over. I mean, 6,000 watts of power on something that only weighs 100 and, well, probably 195 pounds is pretty, pretty awesome, the weight of a person putting out that much power. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's so much fun.
purely electronic brakes right here won't let it roll away down the hill pretty cool feature but keeps it from setting on any one phase so it doesn't warm up that phase too much so you can see it's going from phase to phase but keeping the bike from rolling away even though we don't have any disc brakes on this thing right now it's just all electronic brakes we're getting that tuned in so this is all regen. Every bit of braking we're getting is going right back into the battery packs. So you'll see this uh, power on the bottom left of the display here. Of course, when we're accelerating, the power will go increase. So, you know, like 1.0 kilowatts is a thousand watts. So right now we're pulling 500 watts, 750 watts, a thousand watts, 1500 watts, or 1.5 kilowatts. 1.4 kilowatts but now watch when we speed up i'm gonna do some regen here watch for the regen we're cruising now we got to slow down so you can see that going negative that means that was going back into the battery pack you watch the voltage climb when that happens pretty awesome Pretty heady stuff right there.
thing is awesome. Oh man. I don't know what to say. 12 years of design and evolution of these machines and divine inspiration in the whole product line all together. Um, and we've got the Outrider Coyote four wheel drive, independent suspension trailing arm system. And I just am so absolutely pleased with this thing. So grateful, man. Wow, I can't say it enough. It's a freedom machine. <laughs> you just, anywhere you want to go, you just, basically anywhere you can walk, this thing will run. <laughs> so, hope you're enjoying this uh, little video and enjoying uh, South Central Pennsylvania, rural Pennsylvania, Valley and Ridge, and the Appalachians, as we say in the north, or the Appalachians, as we call them in the south. Uh, beautiful mountains. Uh, leaves just fell. It's about to be the first day of hunting season and it's the day after Thanksgiving so I've got a lot to be grateful for and uh, gosh God's beautiful creation is all around us and um, I'm just happy to be outside so enjoy the show and uh, cheers. I mean, you could be stealthy on this thing. <laughs> this would be a turkey's worst nightmare, as it was said by a uh, fellow that ran a great hunting camp down near Asheville, down south, uh, South Carolina. So this machine is a turkey's worst nightmare. <laughs> Try not to get smacked in the face here. Why you wear glasses? <laughs> and a full face helmet. Where do you want to go next? <laughs> How about some urban assault? This is a sneaky thing. I'm dragging corn husks on the ground. I don't know how sneaky that is. Just show you how nimble this is. Sounds like I didn't have my seat clicked in the whole way. Now it's clicked in. <laughs> so here's the reverse button under all the mud. This is the arm and the kill switch. Hit reverse there. It's four wheel drive reverse. And by the way, we're in four wheel drive all the time here. We just, there's no penalty in doing that. So might as well. Keeps whole system happier. Everything runs cooler as it shares the load between the four motors. See if I can talk and park at the same time. <laughs> And we're in. <laughs> and then, let's 
the LED there, push that. Now we're in forward gear. You about ready to go, Dad? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> Happy and that's, Thanksgiving. That's Miss Bailey right there. Miss Bailey holds the daddy. Miss Bailey. Hi, Miss Bailey. Come on. Come on, Dad. You good girl. Come on. She's like, it doesn't smell right. It smells like a, it smells like a field. <laughs> yeah, get it, man. Get it. <laughs> get it right there. Get it right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, rip it, man. You got it. Brucey boy, that's a good boy right there. That's a good boy. What do you think? What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. Should have brought another bike, bike, Brucey. I need legs like yours. I need legs like yours, old boy. What's he doing? You gonna go get him? You gonna get him? Here he comes.
get all, get all the speed going. Not a ton, but. Uh, and just come back towards me then. You cut them a lot. Yeah, I know. something just love his face he's like <laughs> <laughs> she's a good boy look at your face let's go for it
All right, Maddie, you're gonna, if you need something to hold on to, you can hold on to my legs, but you should be solid there. We're strapped in together, okay? Okay. You good? Are you a little bit scared? No. No. <laughs> She's ready. All right, get ready. It's gonna be fun. Three, two, one. Oh, we're in reverse. <laughs> Let's try again. What do you think? I think she's just taking it in. Yeah, she's a smile. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Ready to go through the field? No. No? Where do you want me to go? In the field. In the field? Okay. Ready? Here we go! Doing good? There comes Bailey. <laughs> Bailey and Brucey boy. You wanna go up the hill? Put your feet on that display, okay? Yeah, just keep them down below there. We went blasting through the cornfield. It was fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Do you want to go explore through the woods a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You don't need to record anymore, Lynn. Cool. I got a couple. Cool. cool. Thank you. Let's go see if we can cut a trail through the woods. Is um, I don't know if uh, this one should be out here. Dad, is Gracie okay out here? Probably yeah, get yeah, grab her there. Ha, 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 ha. 